top of the morning to you, everyone. Wait, no, I, I don't think I have enough green on for this. There's not enough green. I need, I need green. <laughs> All right, still, still not enough green. I need more green. I need more green. <laughs> I still need more green. Mom, I need more green. Okay, I think I think that's plenty green. Now I don't think anyone will at least pinch me or bite me, storm me. But anyways, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. So today is just gonna be a quick little video. I'm gonna make a little sculpture using this little cauldron that I found at the dollar store and turn it into like a little pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So it's time to dig deep into my inner Irishness and get this piece started. So with the plastic little cauldron being a really cheap little dollar store toy, I had to bring some life into it and paint it up a little bit and give it a little bit more of a real look. So to do this, I mainly just used a light gray paint, added a little bit of black, and then slowly brought it to the lighter color using my sponge, and then at the very end, adding a little bit of silver to bring it all together. So to make the rainbow, I actually used some 12 inch acrylic rods. I used my heat gun to kind of bend it into the basic shape that I wanted and then painted each of them using alcohol markers. I was actually really surprised with how well the alcohol markers adhered to the acrylic, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain because this was a really easy and cheap way to color everything. So to make the base where the rainbow was coming from, I used some Super Sculpey and some tin foil. I wasn't really planning on making the base super detailed as far as the paint and stuff goes, so I basically blocked everything out and then baked it a couple times until I had the size that I needed. I knew later on in the sculpture I was actually going to add a little bit of grass and things like that to really make it all pop, so I wasn't really too focused on how it was all looking at this point. To attach the rainbow to the cauldron and also give it a little bit of weight, I packed the whole thing with some plasticine clay and this worked well enough for what I needed it to do. I just have to be careful in the future when it comes to moving this thing around because that clay is not really going to dry since it's an oil based clay, but it's going to be sitting on my shelf anyway so I'm not really too worried about that. I made the gold coins I used some yellow Sculpey and then a pen cap to cut all the little coins out and I was also very pleasantly surprised with how well these came out as well it comes across well as little coins and then once I painted them and had a little bit of gold powder at the end it just really made it all pop
right, everyone. So here it is, our pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. I think this thing is really cute, and I have to apologize for the green explosion. I mean, I am kind of digging it, though. But I hope you all have a great St. Patrick's Day. Stay safe, and like always, keep drawing, and until next time, bye. Ah. Ah.